Well, talk about collision. So networking and security are colliding as well. And so Niall hopes Will, to take advantage of Will, that. I'm sorry. Is this the Star Wars room? It is the Star Wars room. God, I am so excited. I didn't see that when we brought everybody in. That is freaking awesome. <laughs> My lightsaber is over here somewhere. Oh, gosh. Will, man, you're a nerd, dude. And I love you. I love <laughs> you for that. You're so You can't good. even see. I mean, I've got a lot more than what you can see in the background there. I love yeah, it. Right? I am so sorry. You're on a roll. We're talking about <laughs> Nile and Let's network as a you. service. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you know, so it's a crowded space, right? And, you know, a lot of companies are focused on the convergence of networking and security. But Nile is interesting. And the headline um, that recently occurred was their Series C uh, round. So they raised $175 million recently. And that brings the total that they've raised to date to $300 million. Um, Nile is also backed by John Chambers. Hey, you know, John, you know, needs no introduction He's a legend totally. in the networking space, former Cisco founder and CEO. Uh, he was part of Pensando, I guess, you know, before the AMD acquisition there. Mm -hmm. But what, what's, you know, what John's vision for the company is, is around driving self-network operability. And, um, and so this is a grounds up design. They've been out for about a year. And they're trying to make the whole notion of managing networking and security easy. They sort of position the fact that they offer zero trust security for free. And, you know, one of the things they point to is there's no kind of refactoring of legacy infrastructure. So this is a grounds up architecture, microservices, highly containerized. And, you know, again, you know, on the surface, they're entering a very competitive market, but the value proposition seems really strong. Yeah, I I've met with the Nile folks a couple of times over a couple of years. And it is amazing what you can do in any technology when it's a, a clean sheet of paper. And then when it's backed by people like uh, John Chambers, you immediately get credibility. Uh, John Chambers was actually on HPE Discover uh, stage a couple of years back with Antonio Neary. Right. So, by the way, that was very interesting because, <laughs> you know, Aruba, 